what's up guys welcome to my channel Wayne's vlog I'm your host Rohit and today we're gonna do a review of the Jeep Renegade Trailhawk wherein we would be covering the exterior interior details engine performance and its closest competitors so stay tuned till the end and please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the latest news reviews of automobiles so what are we waiting for let's hit the start button The 2020 Renegade comes in four versions Sport, Longitude, Limited and Trailhawk. Its starting price in the UAE is Dirham 79900. There are big chances of the Jeep Renegade being launched in India soon, maybe by early 2021, wherein it could have a huge demand if Jeep launches it at an aggressive price. As of now, for 2020, we have a powerful 1.3 litre multi air turbo engine across all variants which delivers 177 horsepower and 285 newton meters of torque. The model which we are testing today is a Jeep Renegade Trailhawk. This is the top trim and has a front wheel drive along with 20 mm increased ride height and has trail rated 4x4 capability. This means it's ready to hit the trails straight from the factory. It also features engine start stop technology when mated to a 9-speed automatic transmission. That is enhanced with a number of trail hawk specific options. This is selling in the UAE for dirhams 99,900. And if you want to know detailed specs, click on the link in the description box and you would be transported to a world of facts and figures. The Trailhawk comes in two-tone and monotone colors and has a boxy design with rugged looks. In the front, you can see this Jeep badging, round LED projector headlights along with DRLs, a traditional 7-slot vertical grille, and down here you have LED fog lamps and rescue hooks. The Trailhawk version comes with all season tyres which is 225R18. Storage is good for a subcompact. It has a storage space of 18.5 cubic feet and if you fold the passenger seats you get 50.8 cubic feet of storage. Under the floor is a full size spare wheel which is idle for off-road adventure and it has a tow package of 2000 pounds. Sliding inside, my initial impressions are, it's a very nicely put together cabin. Seats are with optional leather and contrast stitching and branded embroidery. The red carries into the central console. It has steering mounted controls along with adaptive cruise control. And here we can see the central MID along with the speedometer, RPM meter and other gauges. It has a U-Connect 8.4 inch touchscreen which is fast and easy to use. There is Android Auto and Apple CarPlay along with navigation and as you can see it's very responsive and fast.
down here you can see traditional buttons for dual zone climate control and here you can see the media hub usb aux and the select train management system with driving modes it also has a backup camera with dynamic guides and these top panels pop off giving you somewhat a jeep like experience which is cool Coming on to the second row, just for reference my height is 5'11 and I have adjusted the front seats based on my driving position. So as you can see the leg room is ok. Seating is a bit tight for full grown adults but you get armrest, USB and AC power sockets with fair amount of headroom. Let's get to the best part now, let's take it out for a spin. You actually sit high up and have a very commanding view of the road. Seating position is adaptable for different size drivers and seats are comfortable. It rides nice and smooth and visibility is great through the rear and side mirror. I love this leather wrapped steering wheel. You have a good feedback coming into the wheel for a vehicle of this size and the transmission is smooth. However, there is a bit of noise on throttle, which is obvious as it's a 4-stroke engine. Overall, I feel it's great to drive. As the smallest member of the Jeep family, the Renegade Trailhawk packs a surprising amount of capability into a very tiny package. It competes with the Honda HRV, Chevy Trax, Hyundai Kona and the Hyundai Creta for India, but most directly it competes with the Subaru Crosstrack. Is it a subcompact you should be adding to the list if you are looking for a subcompact crossover SUV? I think you should seriously give it a look. I think the volume of room inside is quite impressive and the Trailhawk packs a lot of features for off-roading, but there is still a lot of competition. I would give it an overall score of 7 out of 10. With this, I would like to end the review. This is what we have for today. Thanks for watching Wins Vlog and if you guys haven't, please do subscribe. If you like this video, do let me know. And if you didn't, write to me. We'll fix it. That's my promise. Signing off. Take care. Goodbye.